So as I was saying, just fill it up to the max line in here. Use a one, at least a minimum of 150 ml of water in it, in it when you're cooking. Usually it can be the sauce or if you're not sure, it's always just add a little bit more water. Okay, so I've already cooked or diced up chicken. This is actually one of our Clearmate containers. They are um, liquid tight and it's great for chicken that you're not going to freeze. You can't, these are only fridge proof. Great for deli meats and cheeses. So I'm going to pop that straight in there. As so. Swish. Pop a little bit of pepper out of the Tupperware spice rack, spice containers. Some pepper and some salt. Just a little bit of oil. Just a splash. Stir. Now, I've got to put some onion in and I wanted to show you all the um, Turbo Chef. This has actually got onion in it. So with this, it saves crying. You don't have to chop. This actually chops your onions and you do. It's called a pull. The more that you pull, the more that the finer that the chopped onion will be. You can actually feel it go a bit loose. So, and there is our chopped onion. I'll show you a little bit. That's how fine it is. It's just like chopped onion. So that goes in there. These blades are very, very sharp. So just watch your fingers. Generally, you can just pop them in, um, rinse them under the sink, and they're good to go. So pop that in there. This um, container, the bottom bit, is dishwasher proof, or dish front, dishwasher safe, sorry. Um, the, the top of it is a little tricky. I'll just grab a spoon and show you. So, there's a little, when you wash this, there is a little groove right here. And all you do is pop a spoon in there and give it a bit of a twist. That will come off. Oops, should have. <laughs> Twist it again. Ah, oh, now it decides to play. Whoa, slide around the room. Okay, so this comes off. This piece, sorry, I'm a bit quick close. This piece can go in the um, dishwasher. This piece doesn't get wet because it's got the mechanism in it, the cord, and you can't really get the cord wet. If it does happen to get wet by accident, you can pull it out like so and just push that, whoops, push that piece there back into that hole and just leave that out to dry. I'll try to remember not to get too close to the camera in the future. Okay, now, um, just got some, that's onion. I'll just show you this is the garlic star. Now, I was going to actually put, you can put the onion and this in together. I've sort of forgotten to do that, but this is the garlic star. So there's a little groove right here where you can sit the garlic to start with. That little silver thing goes down. Then you can crush it like that, and that actually just peels the garlic takes the skin off and then you just pop it in the holder there just like a normal garlic crusher and away it goes in there so I've got two to do of course you can just take the skin off in fact I might do that with this one just a bit of a crush Remove the skin and I'm going to put it in this one. Got another one. Method in my madness. 
And with these, I'm going to put the, I've got some red peppers. And it did call for red pepper seasoning. I didn't have any, so I thought, well, I'm just going to throw a red pepper in it. And once again, so the red pepper and the garlic is in here now. And I'm just going to chop it. And so... nice and fine and the garlic's in it as well so you can fish all the onion and the pepper and the garlic in you can do that too love these products you can tell them i, I just i can't not love tupperware i really can't <laughs> just not possible sorry sorry i'm dark into the Sink a bit. Right, so basically everything just gets thrown in. So here I've actually put in, this is our clear bowls. They're liquid tight. I've got um, the soy sauce, the ketchup, or just tomato sauce, and I've got sesame oil in here, which just all gets thrown in. It's just an easy way to here before so I'm not measuring things out while you're watching um, then we've got some honey that goes in there this is basically all you do with this um, pressure cooker is um, throw it all in and put it in the microwave Right, we've got some corn flour, just to thicken it up a bit. And some water. And some spring onions. So that soy sauce should have been enough um, and just some sesame seeds, of course. Um, you can, these spice racks, you can shake. I mean, they're coming out, but if you want it to come out a bit quicker, you can open the other side and it's got a spoon slot. A couple of teaspoons in there. Let's see how they go. And that's basically everything in it. Give it a bit of a stir. Gosh, it's looking good already. It's not even cooked. Colour, green, red, white, pink, <laughs> brown. I'll show you in a minute. Give it a bit of a stir. Tupperware spoon rest. They're pretty rare, so if you ever see one of those, grab it when you can. So, look at that. Does that look good? Sorry, it's a bit dark over this side. <laughs> anyway, so the lid just goes on. Now this lid has got a seal in here. It comes out. That's, that seals it all up so that the pressure can build up and cook it quicker. So that seal, they say not in the dishwasher. I actually wash mine in these in soap and water. Um, the other features in here is this little soldier man, calling him little soldier boy. That little valve there that comes up, when it's up like that, that means the pressure cooker's got pressure in it and you can't open it. After it comes out, and about 10 minutes later, that pressure, the valve will, that will drop and then it's safe to open the seal. There's also a, a valve, whoops, <laughs> just here. See my finger coming through. So that's a safety feature. If I get too much pressure, that will release. There is also a, another valve just here, or a, a hole, 
yeah, you can see that a hole just here in the lid and there's a stopper here on that little bum so when that lids down this is another safety feature um, you lock it down when it's when it's ready to when it to, to lock it down so it doesn't open but if it does need to it'll just it'll pop up if it needs to and then it'll release steam light from that too so it won't go kaboom in the microwave okay so there's two little arrows around here one on the lid sorry i should have shown that one on the lid there and one on the handle you match it to the handle slight like so match the arrows turn it clockwise till it matches and then it will be it'll be sealed but oh, then you put the lid down now magic happens into the microwave for 20 minutes and I'm putting it on, it does say 900 watts. So this is a 1,000 watt microwave. So I'm going to put on 90. And then that's it. Done. Dinner's cooking. It took longer to prepare all the ingredients. But, I mean, you wouldn't do that if you weren't, if you were just doing it. You just prepare as you go and throw it all in. Now, um, rice. So this is the... Tupperware, right, it's very, it's the same as the, the one that you've got. This just actually come with another cooker called the um, Micro Urban Large and it has a steamer as well. Hopefully they bring them back, they're really good too. So in the bottom here, we'll just pick our rice. 200 grams of rice. And I actually prefer coconut rice. So, and I'm going to show you this can opener. It's not available at the moment. Any mums out there with little kids are going to die, to die for this because it's one of those ones, I have seen them before, that don't leave sharp edges. It will even go over a pull can, so the lid. So this hasn't got a pull cord, pull, pull cord, a pull can, a pull thing on the lid. So you just simply... And then just a grip. It's better. Don't normally have that much trouble. <laughs> and then it just slides around. It actually undoes the seal at the top of the lid. Oops. No, lost plot. Nerves. <laughs> nerves, nerves go away. Okay. Round and round, you feel it loosen when it's through. There's a little um, clamp at the top here. You simply clamp it to the there and lift the lid and the lid comes off like so. And there are no sharp edges. So little fingers can't get cut. I think it's great, absolutely wonderful. And the thing, the can open stays clean because you don't have to it doesn't touch any food. So that one isn't available at the moment, but add it to your wish list um, on the Tupperware site. So, or through Samantha's link. So, 400 mils of coconut milk, just like that. I do add a little bit more water, just a splash to clean out the can. Tupperware spatulas, these are amazing. They get every skerrick of food out of a bowl or they're, and they're heat proof so you can use them cooking all the time. I use them in the non-stick frying pans because they don't scratch it. And um, they're really, really good. I've got four, I think, because <laughs> I use it all the time. Okay, so just give that a bit of a stir. Because I didn't do that the other day when I was cooking rice. Um, made a bit of a mistake. And uh, it sort of, it didn't really, some of it was, wasn't cooked properly. So, it's, yeah, stir it. This um, insert is actually a starch collector. Um, so, any starch 
will come up through those holes there, sit in the lid away from your rice. Pop the lid on there, that or that there, and then just seal, match the, I'm always having trouble. <laughs> That's, no, oh come on. Match the handles. I've really lost the plot now. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, come on. That's better. Okay, so the lid's gone on. And that goes in the microwave. And I usually, that's why I've got two, rice and stir fry at the same time. So that needs to be on about 900 watts as well. So this microwave is actually 1100 watts. So I need to put that on about 80% power. So that's there and I give that about 15 minutes and look, this one's got 15 minutes. They should both come out together. Hey, how cool is that? <laughs> um, when this comes out, the pressure cooker will need about 10 minutes to for the little valve to come up and then it'll be done. And then this probably needs to sit for about the same time anyway. Um, so that's that. So. Um, my tea's on. So the little boys come down. Always be careful, it's very hot when it comes out. So, and I'll just give it a stir. Oh, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. What I'm going to do is when I dish it up, I will, um, oh, it's a bit hard to see, isn't it? Okay, but it's, it's yum. It's cooked. Perfect. So I'll pop that aside. And now I'll get the rice out and show you the rice. I will seal that up again. Here. Now. By having trouble getting the lid off, I mean on, <laughs> doesn't normally happen. Um, to get it off, the handles you simply push down. Look at that. Then there's a little bit of starch here in the middle. And I'll just give this a stir. I might actually. Just give it a little bit longer, it's a little bit, still a little bit, um, but it's, as you can see, it's fairly, fairly fluffy. It's just a little bit too more. I might just give it just a little bit longer. I'll let it sit for a bit, but that's rice. Yummy. That's, I think I use the Smarty rice, so that's pretty cool. Like, look at that. <laughs> okay.